It is 648. This is your morning in eight minutes. Crews still on the scene of a deadly fire this morning in Knoxville. Yeah, it happened while you were sleeping. Officials say there was an explosion there. Our crews are on the scene right now. Rural Metro officials say at three o'clock this morning, crews responded to a fire with an explosion at a single wide trailer. A woman died from the fire. Crews were able to put the fire out without it damaging any nearby structures. We're actively following this for you and have a crew on scene getting all sides of this ongoing investigation. We'll update you as we learn more in your WVLT news app and on air. And this morning, three people are behind bars accused of stealing a car and setting it on fire. Zachary Jordan, William Brewster and Dalton Davis all charged with arson of a stolen vehicle. Knoxville Fire says the three stole a Ford F-150 and set a home in Fountain City on fire on October 3rd. They then the three also involved in a string of car break ins throughout the county. These are new charges, according to the Knoxville Fire Department. Brewster and Jordan are due in court on November 7th. And take a look at your screen. We first brought you this earlier this month when Crime Stoppers asked for your help identifying a suspect. Crime Stoppers says this person stole an F-150 from a home on Laurelwood Road in Fountain City. A few for a few hours, they say the truck was burnt to the frame. This also happened on October 3rd. We're working to see if this is the truck the three suspects are charged with setting on fire. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. And the 25 year old man accused of stabbing his own mother and her pet cat to death is due in court today. Yeah, this happened last month at her home in Louisville. The suspect is facing multiple charges, including homicide. 25 year old Zachary Hayes is behind bars after investigators say deputies responded to a home on Samples Road in Louisville, finding 63 year old Kimberly Hayes dead with multiple stab wounds. He's also charged with aggravated burglary, abuse of a corpse and intentionally killing an animal. Hayes is expected in Blount County Court today for a hearing. And an Knoxville man charged this morning after police say he shot a gun towards two children. Yeah, KPD says it happened Sunday night. The 71 year old man is facing several charges, including aggravated assault. Police say they responded to a home on Little River Road after reports of a disturbance. Two juveniles say they'd gotten into a fight with Jerome Denson. That's when they say Denson pulled out a gun, pointing it in their direction and shot into the ground. One of the victims says the bullet was close to hitting his foot. Denson is charged with aggravated assault and reckless endangerment involving a deadly weapon. And a convicted felon is back behind bars after police say he threatened to kill his girlfriend and had several drugs on him. And police say the woman had to hide in a store bathroom until they got there. The woman says they met several days ago and started dating on Monday. She says Antonia Pleasant pointed a gun to her head and accused her of stealing money. KPD searched Pleasant and found four baggies of cocaine, one with fentanyl. After searching his car, police say they found a rifle and another gun. KPD says Pleasant was with another man, Dennis Black, who police say had three outstanding warrants in Knox County. And Crime Stoppers is looking for a fugitive named Dennis Beck right now, wanted for multiple charges of theft for passing counterfeit checks in Knox County. Crime Stoppers posted this to its social media earlier this month, We're working to find out if this is the same person arrested with Pleasant. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. More than 70 people are sick and 15 were sent to the hospital after an outbreak of salmonella poisoning. Yeah, 22 states are impacted, including Tennessee and Kentucky. Government health officials say the outbreak stems from bagged and pre-cut onions from Gill's Onions of Oxnard, California. Its diced onions and other pre-cut veggie mixes have August 2023 use by dates and they're all being recalled right now. They're no longer in stores, but if you still have them, don't eat or cook with them, throw them out. This can be very serious, especially in small children, elderly people and those with weakened immune systems. And the GOP planning to bring a vote for speaker to the full house today. Now Republicans now have their fourth nominee for speaker of the house since Kevin McCarthy was ousted last month. Representative Mike Johnson of Louisiana won a conference vote last night. Johnson told reporters Tuesday night that he is quote very confident that he will be confirmed as speaker today. Lawmakers will head to the house floor sometime today to vote, which potentially means Congress can get back to work. Right now, the House is basically at a standstill, unable to pass any legislation, even with the threat of a potential government shutdown next month. And officials say the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is getting worse. President Biden says efforts to get aid to people are not moving fast enough. More trucks carrying food, water and medicine were allowed across the border, but observers say it's not nearly enough to meet the demand. Hundreds of thousands of Israeli troops are along the border ahead of a potential ground invasion. And the off-duty pilot accused of trying to shut down the engines on an Alaska Airlines plane mid-flight, pleading not guilty to 83 counts of attempted murder and endangering an aircraft. 
44 year old Joseph Emerson appeared in court yesterday. According to newly released court documents, he told police he was having a nervous breakdown, hadn't slept in 40 hours, was battling depression, and had consumed magic mushrooms two days earlier. He's being held without bail. And sag -Aftra, along with Hollywood Studios, are set to resume talks today. And negotiations for a new three-year union contract picked back up yesterday. The union presented its last counteroffer two weeks ago. That proposal aimed at the union's streaming viewership, which would charge streaming services 57 cents per subscriber. That would create a pool of funds that could be given to members who you see uh, who, who see who you see on those streaming services. sag after members are also asking for restrictions regarding the use of AI and higher wages. The sag after labor strike against the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers started on July 14th. We'll update you as we learn more. It is 6.54 this morning. Let's get a look at that first alert traffic. Here's a live look at I-40 east of downtown. You can see folks starting to get out in that hustle and bustle on this Wednesday morning, but you're looking good across the region so far. Here's I-40 at Watt Road. Not a whole lot going on out there. Also, except for a few cars headed toward Knoxville. Here's a look at the big picture. Main roads and interstates are all clear at this point in the morning. Hoping it stays that way, but of course, we'll keep an eye on that for you as your morning rush gets here. And then taking a quick look at those drive times, you can see everybody is running on time up to speed. 75 south from Raccoon Valley Road to 640, moving about 70 miles an hour. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. 655 now. I wish I could tell you that we'd be seeing more raindrops fly. Obviously, that's something we really need, but instead we're going to be watching some more leaves of fly. I need to at least clear my driveway at this point before even more come down. So I wanted to give you plenty of heads up on the extra winds we'll feel the next couple of days. So really for today, it's mostly sunny. It's a light breeze. It's a great day to get outside. Now, not bad the next couple of days. We have some scattered clouds, straight rain, mainly on the plateau Thursday and mainly around northeast Tennessee to southeastern Kentucky Friday. But that's where we catch some extra winds with that little more movement right on the edges of our area. Gusts will be around 15 miles per hour for much of us, but that's enough. A little extra wind in this drought, that means those leaves fall off a little easier. So just wanted to give you a heads up there that we're going to be playing a catch up on some yard work for the next couple of days. Right now we have just a couple of clouds moving by. We still have that more of a normal chill. Temperatures ranging from low to upper 40s in the valley with a few clouds. It's 48 Oak Ridge to 43 Knoxville to 39 Sneedville, but then 52 Oneida if you're just trying to get out the door. We have that lone pocket of fog in Knox, but it's trying to spread out to Union a little bit more so in Campbell County. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that for you over on the CW. As you're running out the door this morning, Maybe don't fool with the jacket. It'll be 64 at noon with a high today of 77. And yes, we are still aimed at low 80s in your first alert eight day planner for this weekend. Again, that cold front's the game changer. That's what will bring in some chilly showers, bring down those temperatures even faster now. Monday to Tuesday for Halloween. So more on that as well coming up on the CW. Get outside. It's <laughs> beautiful out there. <laughs> 656 headed on over to WBXX for two more hours. Have a good day.